Now, we're going to do a subtraction problem where we have um, a problem um, that starts with a number that has hundreds, tens, and ones. And we're going to subtract a number that just has tens or and ones. Now, it doesn't matter. This could have all the way up into the thousands, ten thousands, millions. We're still going to do the same process. And that is when in a particular place value, whether it's the one or the ten or the hundredth place, the digit on the bottom may be bigger. Now if we look, we know that 24 is smaller than 503, but and when we look at our ones, three take away four, this four is larger. Okay, and we have to figure out what we're gonna do in order to complete the subtraction problem when we know that that number on the bottom is larger. So normally if we have a three in our ones place and we're trying to subtract a four, we would go next door to the tens place and we would move one of the tens over to help out but guess what there's a zero here imagine I'm trying to bake some cookies and I need some eggs and I go next door and knock on the door and nobody's home so what am I gonna do I'm gonna go to the next house in this case it's the hundreds place I have to go across this zero of the tens place to the hundreds place and what I'm going to do is I am going to cross out that five because I'm going to have to move one of these hundreds over. So instead of having five hundreds, I'm going to have four hundreds. Because okay. what I did is I moved that hundred over into the tens place. Now I have to think, how many tens is one hundred? Well, I know that one hundred is the same as ten tens. Okay. Now I have some tens where I can move one of them over to help out the number that's in my ones place. So I'm not even done. I'm going to have to cross out that ten. And instead of having ten tens, I'm gonna now going to have nine tens. Because I have ten tens and I'm going to move one over. So if I have ten and move one over, I'm going to have nine remaining. Okay. So instead of having three ones. Well, if I had a 10 and I move it over, these three ones plus the 10 I have coming over, I'm going to have 13 ones. And since I have 13 ones, I can now subtract four ones. So if I go 13 minus four, the answer in my ones place is simply going to be nine. 13 minus 4 is 9. But I'm not done. I go over to my tens place and I have a 9 right here. 9 minus 2 is 7. Okay. And I'm still not done. Because now I can come over to the hundreds place. And this is kind of nice because if I have four hundreds minus nothing down here. Four minus zero is four. Okay. So when I regroup to help out, I had to go across this zero. Move a hundred over here so that became ten tens. Then I, from those ten tens I could regroup. I could move one of these tens over leaving me with nine tens behind and my three ones since I brought ten more over is now thirteen so five hundred three minus twenty four equals four hundred and seventy nine